Happy birthday, my dear Leos. I wish you a wonderful birthday and a really great year ahead. So let me break down this month of August, your birthday month, into some bite-sized pieces because there's a heck of a lot going on. First thing to say that on the 2nd of August, Mercury, the planet that rules communications, technology, travel, um, is coming conjunct in your sign with Jupiter. So right in your first house here. So this is a wonderful time, Leo, for really strutting your stuff, for really speaking out what's important to you, sharing what's important, really having people listen to you and appreciate you, because above all, Leos must be appreciated and validated. Um, what you have to watch out for, especially as it's in your sign, is that you kind of don't blast your mouth off. Yes, yeah? something really maybe bothering you, you're getting annoyed about something and blah, blah, blah. it just comes right on out because Jupiter just magnifies whatever it touches. So if there's something bothering you that you need to talk about, you're going to say it. So my suggestion is take a few deep breaths and maybe focus your energy on something else so that you can come back to whatever's bothering you um, feeling a little calmer because when it's in fire signs, the fire signs do have a tendency just to whoosh, the energy just takes them by surprise. Now on the 8th of the month, we've got a lovely trine, Mercury is very busy this month, Mercury is going to be trying making a very nice beneficial aspect with Uranus. So boy, this is a wonderful time for some new ideas, for coming up with something that's completely inspirational. Um, this could be a new idea as to how you want to present yourself, how you want to present information, how you come across. You could really just get into doing something um, unusual, something different. It's just a great time for problem solving, for coming up with an answer to something that's been bothering you for a while. It's also good for anything connected with technology, communications, um, science, mathematics, all these areas, because Mercury being the lower mind and Uranus being the higher mind, this means that they are harmonious together and you can tune in to those vibrations on the 8th of August. On the 10th of August, we've got a full moon happening in your seventh house of relationships. It's happening in Aquarius, your opposite sign. So this is shining a light for you, Leos, on your relationships. Um, what's working for you, what's not working. It's an opportunity to start fresh. It's an opportunity to really see maybe some of the habit patterns that you've been doing in relationships. Maybe you've been giving, giving, giving and feeling unappreciated, which is a definite no-no for Leos. And it's time now to really set things into balance. The full moon here as well could bring you somebody from your past coming back into your life or a new relationship coming in is also possible. Um, on the 16th of the month, we have got Venus. Hey, hey, coming into your sign, Leo. Gosh, this is wonderful for you. Happens but once a year where Venus comes into your sign. So this is a wonderful opportunity for you to negotiate something. It's going to make you very charming, more popular. So if you want to um, really encourage somebody, persuade somebody to buy something, to get into a relationship with you, this Venus energy is just going to make everything that bit easier. It takes the edge off things. And on the 16th of the month, we've got Mercury changing sign going into your second house. This is a really good time for um, studying and looking at your finances, looking at what your money's going on, maybe it's disappearing, it's going too quickly, um, for looking at ways in maybe what you need to learn, maybe you need to learn some new skills or study something that could bring you some more income. So um, this is going to be the flavour of this latter part of the month for you. On the 18th of the month, we have got great news in your sign, Jupiter and Venus conjunct, coming together. Now these are the happy planets, Jupiter and Venus. And when they come together in your sign, this can be very beneficial. 
it might be a time to buy a lottery ticket. Don't go crazy, but it could just be your lucky time. It's also just a time to really feel your confidence. Focus on the things that give you pleasure. The things that you know that you're good at. Instead of focusing on the things that you've not yet done, give some attention to those little things to validate yourself. Because if you validate yourself, then other people are going to feel that vibration and they're going to give you that kind of validation and love that you so much want. This is real heart energy here. Leos, this is you coming from the heart, being generous, the generosity of spirit. Share that and this aspect will bring that back to you in spades. On the 24th of August, we've got the sun moving into your second house of money. And on the 25th of August, we've got a new moon in Virgo happening in this second house of money. So this is an opportunity for some new beginnings as far as finances are concerned. New things, so maybe um, you want to get into a partnership with somebody, maybe you'd like to start a new business, maybe you'd like to move company and work for somebody else, maybe you'd like to be uh, self-employed, work on a consulting basis. This is new beginnings, new ideas, new ways of making money. And it's also important that you look at your values, what's important to you, and that you focus on those values. So let's say uh, family and home is important to you. Well, are you spending enough time with those people and doing enough around the home if you're a loner? Are you getting enough time in the home that's nourishing for you? And this new moon will give you some opportunity for some new beginnings in that area. Now, the more challenging aspect that's going on for the last couple of weeks of this month is that Mars and Saturn are together, they're conjunct. Now, Mars is a fire sign, is ruled by fire, and wants to get on with things, wants to do things. And Saturn says, no, hang on a minute, uh, you've not thought this through properly. And so Mars and Saturn coming together, what I'm going to suggest is Leo's, especially as Mars is, is, is ruled by a fire sign, you're going to tune into the Mars energy, you're probably going to feel impatient. Um, try just to focus on one thing at a time and complete it. Saturn will help you complete something. Saturn is really uh, not to be feared, but when Mars and Saturn are together, Mars tends to be stronger. So make sure you're not too impatient, that you do something really properly because you can be very productive, but as long as you do one thing at a time. And then of course, balancing that, we've got this very positive energy with this Jupiter and Venus going on. So here's the challenge, focus, plan, do things one at a time, don't be impatient. And here, enjoy, feel the heart energy, the positivity, the good fortune that will come to you with this Venus and Jupiter. So I wish you a great month and a very happy birthday. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, sharing. Bye for now.